In today's video, I'm just going to talk about how I passed the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. So the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam is the foundation exam in AWS. So you do this before you do anything else. And it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So basically what you have to do is you have to define the AWS global infrastructure, architectural principles, and describe the value proposition, which is pretty easy. Describe the services and platforms, which is pretty hard. Security and compliance, which isn't too bad. Billing, account management, and pricing models, which is too bad. The sources of documentation and advice, and the core characteristics of the operation model. So what I used to pass the exam was mostly this course on Udemy. So it's the ultimate AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course. And it's a long course, it's about 14 hours. And there's some parts that are more important than others when I, when I did the exam and I kind of did a few of the mock exams. So I'm gonna go through those now. So this is key, the IAM and access management, especially the MFA, the users and groups and the roles. It's like, how do you give users access to different stuff? And then how do you give services access to different stuff? So I would definitely suggest studying this one in depth. Um, the next one is the EC2. Uh, cloud compute. So this is virtual servers. This, especially around security, sizing different types of instances, this came up a lot, as well as the uh, shared responsibility model. And across all services, that's really important. Is like for AWS managed service, what's your responsibility? And then for something like uh, EC2, what's your responsibility? Um, for the EC2 instance storage, yeah, we got I got a question on EBS. Uh, and really snapshots as well. So they come into cost a lot. And um, the el elastic load balancers and auto scaling groups, there's questions about this all over the exam. It's only 37 minutes. And this will be like, where are these used in what kind of infrastructure? And um, they're really important. Another really important aspect is S3. And security is important enough, but it's really like, what does S3 do? as in what would you put on S3? And then what's really, really important is the different classes of S3 and in what in what instances would you use them? And as well, I got three questions on the Snow family, which is a quite a quite a small aspect, but there seems to be always questions on it. I had a lot of questions on databases. So what is a relational database in here? What is an AWS managed database? And then what databases would you put on on um, EC2? Uh, so what you really need to know is the DynamoDB, uh, DocumentDB, the RDS, and then when you put something on EC2, and then Elast ElastiCache came up as well for like an in-memory database. Really didn't get anything on like the um, Neptune, any of the blockchain stuff, QuickSight. Um, what's really important in this section is Docker. I got a few questions on Docker containers, like the managed Docker containers, and then uh, the Elastic Cloud um, service, and then uh, Lambda, super important. Um, loads of questions on cloud formation and Beanstalk. I'd say I got three or four, and then I got a couple of questions around coding. So really, it was like code uh, was code commit. Um, and then loads of questions around the global infrastructure. So CloudFront for the CDN, Route 53. I got a question on outposts and something on Global Accelerator. For this cloud integrations, it's really just um, SQS was the only question I got. And then loads of questions on cloud monitoring, X-Ray, uh, CloudTrail, CloudWatch. There's a load of questions on CloudTrail, actually. Uh, not so many questions on VPC. It was basically, I got a question on Transit Gateway, um, and that was really it. And then loads of questions on security compliance, especially the shared responsibility model. Uh, DDoS uh, penetration testing came up. Um, and then like some, some certain stuff like config, Macy, uh, artifact. So you kind of, and, and two questions on abuse and four questions on root user management. So didn't get much on machine learning, just got one question on Lex and Connect. I think this is like a place where you only get it one or two questions from. And then as usual, loads of questions on organizations um, and pricing. Pricing came up a lot and I'll show you a white paper where you can get some pricing stuff off. 
and then billing as well and support um but i recommend doing the looking at the white paper and some of the other um bits and pieces for aws on that so nothing on advice on advanced identity but these were really used as distractors in the questions so i'd know what they are a shame with the other services know what they are but don't expect a question on them this is super important this well architected framework and it's covered very well in this course i got maybe four or five questions on this and the last thing on this course is a practice exam but i would buy these practice exams as well so there's six exams in here would have probably failed without them so on white papers i would look at the overview of aws six advantages to cloud computing super important couple of questions from that and then the rest of this white paper goes through every service in a small bit of detail this is really important to revise just before the exam especially for the distractor questions next thing i'd look at after this is pricing so the pricing white paper goes through a number of this different pricing i would have a look at the the pricing tools the budgeting tools and then ec2 s3 lambda i wouldn't go too deep into it but th that's what i would focus on and lastly this is the support programs this is super important you will get three or four questions on this and it's all on one page here so left links to all these things down below and um, the exam is doable but put aside maybe 20 hours to do your study and um, hope you get on very well with the exam and if you have any questions please ask down below and best of luck on the amazon cloud practitioner exam